Miranda Gwillem, thank you very much for your time. Oh, thanks for having us. And what a fun movie. What a stack of fun. Oh. And what an interesting insight into what the top end is really all about. You've done so well. Oh, thank you. Oh, we had the best time, didn't we, Gwillem? Yeah. Um, uh, we just had to really rein it in sometimes because we were um, making each other laugh so much and even the crew were just so playful and and had been to so many isolated regions before. Um, a lot of them had worked on other films up in the territory so they were just there for the adventure. Did you have to pinch yourself, Gwilym, because all of a sudden you're on stage as Brian May, next minute you're in the wilds of desert in the top end yeah no absolutely um uh it's i did have to pinch myself and i have this person to be thankful to for that as well because uh and and for and to wayne blair as well for taking a, a punt on uh uh taking this bumbling brit and uh dropping him in the the northern territory for this story but yeah it was a it was a gift of a job yeah is it a spiritual place for someone who doesn't have the Australian or even Indigenous history. Is Spir it spiritual is de it's definitely the word spiritual. I completely yeah yeah. I mean you can find um, areas of isolation in the UK, maybe you know in the Scottish mountains or in the, the north of Wales, for instance. But you never feel too far away from humanity. You know you, there's always a car park around the corner or a train station or an airport. But um, in the top end, we went to like Ubia Rock, for instance, and. Yeah. You are stood on a precipice looking out into the landscape, and there's no sign of any, uh, no sign of man at all. And, and you it's do, endless. and it's endless. Degree endless. Yeah, and you feel this connection to, to the land, and it is quite kind of emotional and spiritual. And then uh, just around the corner are these rock paintings that are tens of thousands of years old, showing proof that people have been enjoying that view for, for millennia. And that is like, you know, that's quite breathtaking. Really. I'm so glad you got into it. But Miranda, this is a big leap in self-faith and trust, co-writer, producer, star. Now you had a, I guess, a head start because this is the place you were born in Darwin. Yes, and I'm really, uh, I'm really lucky that um, my co-writer Josh Tyler um, kept reminding me of that. That um, even though this was kind of my first time, that I had to actually uh, commit and not be afraid of the first thing that I write. Um, but also he said, well, not, but you not only know how a, how a script works, you break it down all the time when you're acting, but you um, you know the territory, you love rom-coms, it, it, you, you've got to just trust that, you've got to trust your gut. And uh, one thing I've really learnt over the years is that um, uh, I've met many artists that I look up to in my time and I know that there is no right answer for them. They're constantly, it's always, a, a job is always new, so they're having to take an approach um, a different way every time they start something different. So um, It's still risky for you. It's still risky, you're, yeah. You're talking about Indigenous connection. You're talking about family matters, really deep family matters, and not ever being able to talk to a parent the way you'd wish you'd been able to talk to a parent. These are deep issues straight through the middle with a rom-com. I know. Um, but because the genre is is so driven on on um, characters, it's. Uh, I think it was a great window into um, having an audience fall in love with the community that I love so much. Oh, that Tiwi Islands area, for the, those people who have never been there, it looks not only picturesque, but it looks, what's the word I felt when I saw it? It was soulful. Soulful. It is soulful. I think it is important for for everyone um, who lives in a big city to kind of uh, go to the great outdoors and uh, take that step back and and kind of reflect on um, the kind of person that they want to be and uh, and um, and what is important in their life. And I love the marketing approach, Miranda. Here you are, only got married a couple of months back. Yeah. And just for the film, that's so good. It's such a commitment by you to do. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy, you know. It was just a pure coincidence yes, that course. I was like writing, that I was writing a wedding film, and then I met James. Uh, it was uh, it was one of those crazy things. But I'm really, really glad that um, we managed to make the both of them work. It was so ambitious. Yeah. Well, one thing I, you look at your background, and now you're launching into space right now in terms of being an actor and in terms of getting such international credibility, and then doing this top end wedding. And I notice you actually also do video games. I haven't ever interviewed an actor that's also done video games. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah, these yeah. are not the shoot up bang bang video games, are they? Uh, no, no. I, I, Final Fantasy is uh, a game that I've done quite a lot. I've the voice for that. 
Um, shame That's to say, awesome. I, don't, I don't play video games, so I've never you you've kept never seen the a, products of my work. You but uh, you, you totally kept it. this I, I, on I've the seen, download. I've seen a picture of my character. He's like this huge, like burly monster, and I'm like, is that how I'm seen? Is that how my voice sounds? But I don't know. <laughs> uh, but no, that's the that's what I love about this job. It's like. You never know what, what you're going to get next, what Absolutely. the next uh, little adventure is going to be. But. It's interesting, but there is a history of Australian film where Englishmen, mm. um, upstanding Englishmen, come and uh, kind of mix with this abrupt, raw Australian landscape, raw Australian characters. Mm. You're very good at it. Um, do you have any mindset as to coming back to Australia and doing something similar? Well, again? I just love Australia and Australians. Oh, shut up. And on. I'm not joking. And it no. feels odd saying that because I'm an English cricket supporter and uh, also a Welsh rugby fan as well. So to say that I love Australians, it's like, it feels it's, like it's sacrilege, huge. really. But, it's um, huge of you. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. But I just, I love this place. I really do. And I love the characters and the people that we've met along the way. Mm. Um, it's just a, a beautiful, colourful country and I love it. Where, where are you heading to uh, in terms of now you've got Bohemian Rhapsody under your wing mm. and no doubt you've had offers since then to do other things. How's that going at the moment? Um, is I, it the first time you've had to push things aside? No, I, I just, this is all that matters to me at the moment. Is, is uh, you know, I've, I've been part of this big, you know, studio film, lots of money behind it, but independent film is, is so important and it's, and it's really difficult getting films made. So it's really important that I just want people to get out and see this beautiful story that is so specific to Miranda's experience and to Tiwi, but actually is... I think we're going to relate to a to a really universal audience. We just oh we, sorry, Miranda. We should add in terms of top end wedding, uh, the Sundance Film Festival. This premiered at Sundance. It did, and to enormous support. Tell tell our listeners about that. Oh, it was uh, it was so mind blowing um, to see how many people found parallels with their own experience in America. I thought maybe the humour in it might be a little bit too yeah. quirky. Um, they got it. But they got it. Right. That was the thing. Uh, and they were just on the journey the whole way. And uh, um, they loved the landscape. They thought it was incredibly romantic. That's not always presented to them in that light. So I'm really, really glad that um, well, there, there uh, everyone they embraced Sundance it. Sundance Film Festival, isn't it, in Utah? <laughs> so snow-capped mountains. It was. Et cetera, et cetera. Thinking about this incredible landscape in the northern part of Australia. There couldn't be a greater contrast, could there, really? Oh, I know. Uh, going from this little Christmas village into this uh, beautiful, uh, warm, tropical paradise, I mean, yeah, what, what more could you want? Is there more to come for you? The uh, Miranda Tapsall kind of empire? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Watch this space. <laughs> we look forward to the it. The empire, that makes you the queen, right? Yes. Oh, yes, first lady. First lady. <laughs> well, well done. Congratulations. Once again, thank you for your time. Thank, thank you. you.